Hi everyone, welcome back to Melissa's Kitchen Table. Tonight we are going to be making um, a stuffed pork loin. Well, they're individual cuts of pork loin, so kind of like pork chops, but they're super thin. Um, and we're going to be stuffing it with a variation of my sausage stuffing. We're going to be doing it with cornbread. And what I have here is about one stalk of celery. It was frozen, and it's just chopped up. And then I have one carrot finely diced, just like that, finely diced. So to do that, I just cut them in little match sticks, Oops. like that, and then cut them in small little cubes, just like that. I'm gonna cook that with um, here's the homemade breakfast sausage, and I'll link that recipe down below too, because um, I like to use breakfast sausage. You could use homemade, or you could buy the Jimmy Dean kind if you'd like. I almost forgot. I'm going to use one small onion or a half of a large onion, and again, this is going to be a small dice. So I have my large skillet going ahead and I have it heating up in the back. So I want to do a small dice on this too, so it's going to be smaller than normal. So it's about that thick. You know what, I think I'm actually going to use half. Because I have all the other stuff. You could use a whole if you want. Um, but I think a half is going to be more than enough. And then just, again, a small slice on that. Now once that pan heats up, I'm going to go ahead and put the sausage in. So hang on one second. Alright, so I'm going to put a little oil in the bottom of the pan. I'm using avocado oil, but you can absolutely use olive oil, canola oil, whatever oil you use. It's really hot. So go ahead and get that in. And fry that up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add all the veggies to this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let this cook for another five minutes. Just let the pork cook and the carrots and celery and onions cook. We'll be back. All right, so while that's cooking, I have uh, a corn muffin mix that I made. <clears throat> this was just a Jiffy mix, and I just cooked it. I cooked it a little bit longer than what I would normally because I'm going to be using this for the stuffing. So I want it to be a little bit drier than normal. So I'm just going to go ahead. I let it cool down for about 10 minutes after it was baked. And I'm just going to use a fork and cut all of that up. And you could use corn muffin. You can buy this at the store pre-made. I, um, when I made mine, I followed the box recipe for the eggs and milk. And then I added a little garlic and sage. 
You could also add um, some parsley if you'd like. You could put red pepper flakes, whatever you like. I didn't add any red pepper because I have that in the sausage already. Now to the sausage and um, veggie mix, I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of water and I'm going to let that cook for another three, four minutes. All right, so while the mixture is cooking on the stove, I went ahead and I have four very thin pork loin chops or cutlets. And now these are really thin already, but I'm gonna go ahead, I put them in a plastic bag, and I'm gonna pound them out to make them even thinner because we're gonna roll these up. Now you don't wanna hit too hard because then you'll break the meat apart. You just wanna hit around the edges to thin them out. All right, so this is gonna be really loud, so I'm gonna go ahead and pound out the four of these and then we'll be back. Okay, so now that this is all cooked and the carrots are tender, the onions are tender and the celery, the pork is all cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and add all the cornbread to this. and then you want to mix it up because you might need more liquid. So you're going to have to go add liquid based upon how dry or moist you like your stuffing and how much water your vegetables gave off. All right, so I'm going to put this on low and I'm going to go ahead and start by adding a half cup. And you could use chicken broth. I'm just using plain water. Right, so we're going to have to add a little more. So probably this is about a cup of water here, extra that I've added. Had add another half cup. Oh, and by the way, that was a half pound of sausage that I used. All right, so as you can see, I like it like this where you can see that it sticks together, but it's not super moist because we're not going to be baking this for a long time that whatever goes in the pork. Whatever's left over, I'm going to transfer it back to that baking dish that I took the cornbread out of, and I'll bake that in the oven. Alright, so I'm going to let this cool just a bit so I can at least handle it. And now over here, I have the pork cutlets all pounded out. They're nice and thin. And then I'm going to go ahead and take these out so I could season them and roll them. So I'm only going to touch the pork with one hand so I can get the seasonings with the other. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, salt. And I'm just going to put some garlic powder or granules. If you want, you could add onion, you can add paprika, you could put whatever you want. And to this, I'm going to go ahead and use some breadcrumbs. And these are just plain unseasoned breadcrumbs. Now, what uh, this um, where I'm putting all the seasoning is actually going to be the outside.
All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this into the pork so it stays. And we'll flip it over. And this pork is really thin, so I'm not gonna salt the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hands washed and then I'm gonna get another skillet out so we can saute these up. I'll be right back. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take maybe, maybe a quarter cup of stuffing and I'm gonna put it in each chop. Maybe a little less. And you're gonna have to position it so you can roll these. And this is why I like to have the stuffing a little um, binded so we could do that easier. So to roll these, you're just going to take one, push it to one side a little bit, just like that, and pull this over, just like that, and just roll. So it's just going to look like that. And if the stuffing comes out a little bit, that's no big deal. Oh, I never even filled that one. So like this one might have a little too much stuffing, take some out. and then just pull it and roll it. Just like that. I'll get to that one at the end. And again with this one, it's a little too much. And then roll it. All right, so right now I have the pan on the back burner there. And that's getting nice and hot. And then I'm gonna put a little oil in that burn in that pan. Don't put it in the burner. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna wash my hands, get some oil in the pan, and then we'll fry these up. Okay, so the pan's nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and put in. I'm using avocado oil again. You can use whatever you like. And I have this on about mm, medium high. All right, so this is nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and put the pork rolls in and I'm putting them the seam side down so it solidifies, like it, um, it cooks it together so it doesn't open. All right, so I'm gonna cook this probably three, four minutes on this side. All right, so it's actually only been two minutes and they look pretty good, so I'm gonna turn them on the side. Now, let me turn them on the folded side. All right, so I'm gonna give that one more minute on that side. All right, so it's been about a minute. I'm actually gonna lower this just a touch. So it's closer to medium than medium high. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip these one more time. All right, so I'm gonna to wanna to do this on all four sides. So I'm going to go ahead and cook this on this side probably two and a half minutes and then flip it on the fourth side for one more minute. And we'll be back after I get that done. All right, so it's back where we started. They started to open up a little bit. That's no big deal. If you don't want them to open at all, you could always stick toothpicks in them before you put them in the pan or you can use butcher's twine. Um, but it doesn't matter to us. It's fine the way it is because you're going to serve them seam side down so no one will ever know. So I'm going to go ahead now and take these out of the pan. 
So I drained off all but about a tablespoon of oil, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some flour in there, let that cook. And I did leave the little stuffing bits that fell out, no big deal. And again for this you could go ahead and use chicken stock, I'm just going to use plain old water. And I have about a cup and a half of plain old water. And you want to use your whisk to scrape off all the bits on the bottom. That's going to create flavor and a sauce for you. Alright, so to flavor this sauce, I'm going to use about a teaspoon of salt, flavor to taste. You could add more at the end if you like. No, that's just the microwave. And I'm going to use a lot of pepper. going to throw in a little bit of granulated garlic and I'm just going to let that come up to a boil and thicken up. I also put in some green beans in the microwave. Those are cooking now. The rest of the stuffing is in the oven and what I'm going to do is let this thicken up and then I'm going to put the meat on a separate plate and we'll put a little bit of the pan gravy over top of that and I'll show you once it's plated. Okay everyone, here's the final dish. I just went ahead and put a little bit of stuffing on the bottom. I put the two rolled pork pieces on the top. I spooned over some of that pan gravy and I'm serving it with some green beans. I hope you like this dish and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and I'll talk to you next time, bye.